In this video here, we're going to show you how to create this rocket in 2D design, which is a 2D CAD software. So first of all, we need to open it up. We can go into the start menu at the bottom left corner here. We can scroll down and we'll find 2D design in the folder called TechSoft Design Tool. We've got 2D design version 2. Let's click on that and we'll open it up there. This pops up here. Just click off that there. And then we have our working area here. We've got our tool menu bar here. I've got another little menu bar here, um, which we'll go into in a little bit more detail. First thing we want to do though is copy and paste across a rocket to give us a guide of what we're aiming for. So we want to go into File, Open. We need to click on this PC and we're going to scroll down here and we're going to look at LEI Group. We're going to Resources. I'm going to scroll down from here and go into Technology Faculty, S1 Digital Literacy. I've got a folder called 2D Design, Rocket Tutorial, and S1 Rocket Body. And just click on that and click Open. We're going to copy this grey rocket we have in the corner here. So we're going to use the Select tool, that's the mouse icon on the left hand toolbar there. So we'll click on that there and click on our rocket. We're going to go up to Edit, Copy, and then we're going to go to File, New, and we're going to create our own working space to work in. We don't want to work in the S1 rocket body, that's on a server, and we won't be able to save our work if we start working there. So, we've got our new window here, we're going to click Maximize on that there, and we just go Edit, Paste, and we'll have our rocket added in there. And we can click on that middle yellow square there, just to move it up. To the top right corner, a little bit out of the way there. What I'd recommend then is going to Window, go into S1 Rocket Body there, and we're just going to close that, and that gets rid of it so we don't end up working in that environment. So now we want to draw a vertical line. So I'm going up to Line Tool, you see it's quite hard to draw a vertical line. So I can just press Escape to get rid of that, and what I want to do is go and turn on Grid Lock. So on the right hand menu bar there, turn on Grid Lock. And what this does is we select the line tool again, is it keeps us locked to the grid points that we can see on our worksheet. So we can just click on one and go straight down and get a nice vertical line there and click again. We can then press escape to get rid of that tool. We're going to use the path tool next. But as we're not looking to draw a vertical line or keep to the grid squares, we can turn off grid lock so we can draw a line freely. So now I'm going to go across and I'm going to use the path tool, which is also known as a spline tool in all bits of software. So we click on that there. And we want to draw kind of this line here of the rocket. So we want to draw that line there. So I'm going to start on the right hand side of a vertical line. I'm going to click. And as I go along, I'm just going to click at kind of positions where I think it's starting to look like what I want and <clears throat> just keep coming down and when I want to stop there I can just double click and that will finish that line and then I want to draw this little fin that comes out here so again I can click and click as the line comes out remember it's wing quite wide as we're coming down and I'm going to double click there you'll notice I've overlapped the lines and it's really important because when we come to fill in this um, the rocket body with a solid colour we don't want any gaps and if we have any gaps it won't fill it'll be like a bucket of a hole in it so we're making sure we we'll overlap our lines so we're starting to cross like that next up we're going to create this line um, here the kind of the bottom side of the rocket wing again making sure we're overlapping I'm clicking as I commit I'm bringing that round just as I want it, clicking where I think it looks right, and then double click. At any point you don't like what you're, you're doing, you can go up to the select tool, you can select your line, and you can press the delete key on the keyboard to get rid of it, and then you can just draw it again. So, next up, we want to add some straight lines. So we're going to go up to the line tool at the top left here, and we can click on that. You'll notice as I hover over any of the tools, it does actually tell you in quite small letters below it 
that the, what it is that line so i can click on that there so now we want to draw the kind of rocket engine in the bottom of the rocket so i'm making sure i've got a bit of overlap and do you know what i'm going to zoom in here so there's a zoom on the right hand side menu bar so we can zoom in there and get a better view of what i'm doing i'm just scrolling down using the mouse wheel there i'm going to click making sure we've got an overlap that looks good there i'm going to draw a line coming down just kind of a rocket booster A line coming across here, a line going up, and you see every one of those I've got a little overlap and by zooming in I can see I can make sure I've got that there and then finally I'll draw a line right across to the middle there and that's me finished with the line tool there so I can just press escape to get rid of that so now what we want to do is we want to delete all these extra little lines we have, so we tidy up our model. So we can hover over delete any, and you see it says delete. We don't just use the delete tool, so we want to click and hold until this menu bar comes up. And we're going to go in to delete part of an object between the two nearest intersections. So we can just let go once we're hovering over that there. And you'll see if I go and click on these extra bits, it just removes any of these extra um lines to the nearest kind of junction where the other lines meet. I can tidy all that up there. Be careful to select the right line. If you ever select the wrong line you can go up to edit and you undo. But you only do that once. So if you select the wrong line, make sure you do it straight away. We're going to zoom in as well. Just make sure it's nice and clear. I'll use the scroll bar there to scroll across. Make sure it's nice and clear I can see what I'm doing there. I'm just tidying all these up, tidy up that there as well, let's scroll up, we've got those ones to do as well, and the one going across that centre line as well. We'll zoom out, we should hopefully, yeah, looking a lot tidier now. So now I can use the select tool, up the top left here, and rather than having to redraw that rocket body again, trying to make it look exactly like we want, we're going to use the mirror tool. First of all I need to select what I want, so I've gone up to select, I'm going to click and drag to capture the whole of the rocket body. And that's what we have there. Now I'm going to go up and use the mirror tool. So this one here is hidden below the transform tool. So we click and hold and transform, and you'll see the second one in is the mirror image, mirror the image the selected objects. So we can just release our mouse on that there. And we want to repeat that. So we want to end up with two halves of the rocket. So we'll click OK. What we should do before we try to mirror is just turn on grid lock. So that's over on the right hand side here. Turn on grid lock, and that means our mouse will snap to that line that we drew earlier and the points on it. So we can click above, we can just go all the way to the bottom, click below, and then we now we've got our rocket. So at this point here, we can just press escape. That gets rid of that there. What we want to do is I want to select that middle line though. So I press the select tool again, and we select that middle line, and we delete that there. Because we've mirrored it, we've used that for what we needed it for, and now we no longer need it. Once I've deleted that, I'm going to keep the select tool selected, and I'm going to click and drag to encompass the whole rocket there. And I'm going to go up to edit, and I'm going to group these together. Because at the moment, there are lots of individual lines, so they might get separated. So I'm going to group those together there. Once I've grouped them together, I'm also going to go up to edit. And I'm going to make this what we call a path. And by making it a path, it means it makes it an enclosed area that we can then fill in with a solid car. So we can click Make Path. And it comes up with this warning, and it's just kind of telling us that we can't alter the individual parts anymore. So we can just click Yes there. And we've got that done. So with that selected, now we want to go up to Fill. And we want to go for a solid color. Currently it's going to go black, don't really want a black rocket. Let's click colour here and we're going to go for a grey. Click OK, click apply, and then click OK there. As we click OK there, our rocket then gets filled grey. It's got this purple hatching over it, that just means it's selected. So if I click off the rocket, you'll see we now have a grey rocket. It was a little bit of difference in shape to the first one we started with, and that's just because my lines are slightly different to how that rocket there was drawn. And it's, um, so it's absolutely fine. 
Now we want to have a go at adding some windows. This rock on the right doesn't have any of this detail here. Um, we want to add some windows to ours though. So we're going to use the circle tool. So we hit the circle tool and I'm just going to draw off to the side here. And actually I've still got grid lock on so I'm going to go off and turn that off. It makes a circle I think. I mean it looks not bigger than the rocket. That's about a good size there. And I'm going to select that then. And I'm going to go fill. Go for a solid colour. I'm going to make that red. Click OK. Click apply. I click OK again. And then I can move that into set roughly the centre of the rocket. It doesn't need to be too precise at the moment. We'll align that later. And then I'm going to go for another circle. So it's that circle two again. I'm going to have a look drawing this one. Oops. Drawing that in the wrong place. So what I can do is just press escape and try that again. I'll try drawing it, starting roughly in the middle there and create a circle that's a bit smaller than my previous one. Click my select tool, click my circle. Click on fill again. And this one we want to go for graduated. And we're going to change this colour here, so it's going to give us a fade. We're going to change that colour there to be blue. Click OK on that there. And we want to rotate that round so it's on that little clock. So we've got a little clock down here. We'll take that round to kind of 45 degrees. And this gives us kind of blue to white uh, graduated kind of fade there. So we can click apply, click OK, and we've got our circle with our graduated fade on there. So now we want to make sure these are aligned. So what we can do is we can click, we can, so making sure our select tool is selected, we can click and drag a box just to cover those two circles, nothing more. And we can go up to edit, we can go align, and we can go center vertically, and then we need to select align to selected objects. So just click OK on that there. So they're now vertically centered. We can go up there again, edit, align, center horizontally. Make sure align to selected object is still selected and click OK there as well. So now we have, that looks like a little window in our rocket there. It's looking a bit more detailed there. We're going to group those together. And just see why in a second. So we'll group that together. So that's a group now. Now we want to copy that so we have two windows on our rocket. So we can click that little double yellow box below our uh, two circles there. And we click that and it gives us a second copy. So we can then drag this down and we can just position that in the center of the rocket down below. We can move it up a touch, kind of body. Make that a little bit smaller so you can just drag any of those windows, make it a touch smaller. And again, we'll keep that nice and centered. So we've got kind of two windows. It's really starting to look like a rocket now. We're going to add a bit more detail. So we're going to add some yellow stripes across it. So I'm going to go to the shapes tool here. And it's just the first one's going to be a rectangle. So I can kind of click and drag across. It's a little bit hard to see, but it will appear once you click again. So I've got one there. I'm going to click my select tool, click on that line. I'm going to go for fill, I'm going to go for solid, I'm going to go for color, I'm going to go for yellow. OK. Click apply and click OK again. I've got a yellow stripe going across. If it's slightly off one side, you can just click on that with the select tool selected. And just grab that little yellow swan, just drag it out until it covers that up there. Move for another one. Um, and I'm going to make that across the bottom there. So again, I'm going to kind of click. Okay, start drawing behind. Don't worry about that there. You can just click and you'll see it appears. Okay, I'm going for my select tool, click on the box, click fill, solid. Click on colour, click yellow, click OK, click apply and click OK again. Oops, and you'll see we've got our yellow stripe across the bottom there as well. So it's starting a bit more like a rocket. What we want to do next is we want to add some flames to show that the rocket is powering off into space. So to do that there, we're going to head up and we're going to click and hold on the path tool there. Get a little menu pops up and we go for draw a closed Poly line. So release a mouse on that there. And we want to start just up above. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so you can see what I'm talking about. We want to start just up above this area of the, um, the cutout of the engine. 
and just from there I'm just going to go up a little bit to the right, click, and I go across and click. Now we can't see, so it's getting pretty hard actually. So let's let's change what we're doing here, and let's just press escape. And what we'll do, click that line again. We'll start down, start to the side, so we can see what we're doing. So we'll click, make sure it's a bit wider than that, and the cutting the engine. We'll go across. We'll click there. I wish you have a good kind of drawing, a kind of flame. You can do it as you like. It can be fairly flame-like, so nice shaggy bits coming off there. And that's starting to look like a pretty good flame. And as we come up, if we just double-click when we're nearing that first end, it will automatically complete itself. And that's really handy because we know we've got a closed area there. Go on to the select tool again there. Going to position that below our rocket engine, we can see how it's going to look there. And now we want to go to fill. So we're going to go up to fill, and we're going to go for a graduated fill again. So we'll click on that there. This time we want this to be red, so we're going to color, click red, click OK. We're going to add another color, and we want this to be um, orange, so we can click OK there as well. I'll add an oil color there as well. I want it to be a yellow. I can add that now. We'll just drag that up. So we've got it going from red to orange to yellow to white. That's why it's really hot. White hot. <laughs> and we can just click OK, play, OK, apply, sorry, and then OK. And we've got our flame there. You know it's currently sitting in front of the engine. So we want to click on that again on the select tool. Selected. We'll go edit and we're going to go range and we're going to put to back. And that now kind of looks like it's coming out of the engine. We click on that again, and just as we did before with our windows, we can click on that little copy tool at the bottom, and that duplicates it. We can drag that across to the other engine. Um, we can flip that uh, horizontally by clicking that one, little one there, so it's kind of symmetrical to that one there. So we can click that little top double arrow there to do that there. And again, we want to arrange that and put it back and then we'll zoom out and you'll see we have got our rocket so well done in completing that there we definitely will make sure we've saved it so we'll file save as you save it in your rocket uh, in your documents as rocket 2d design and click save there